We want to thank you guys for sticking with us through essentially uncharted territories both for our YouTube channel and for our store. We're working hard to try to get orders out as quick as possible, but if you haven't heard, we're now offering curbside pickup so you can get your stuff quicker and save a bit on shipping if you live nearby or maybe you want to take a little road trip. I'll give you everything you need to know for curbside pickups in just a bit. The Crytac PDW has definitely been a home run release for Crytac and it's by far one of our best sellers. And with its compact design and its distinct angular receiver, it's not hard to see why. This new revision is more of a facelift for the PDW and as far as I'm aware, the internals are more or less unchanged, but there are still a few nice improvements worth talking about. The new Defiance TR205 M-Lock rail follows the same design language as the recent SPR and CRB M-Lock and I think it looks pretty sharp with a more aggressive looking front end and cutout compared to the outgoing Keymod version. On our Canadian spec versions, you will be getting an extended inner barrel hidden by that same metal mock suppressor that came on the Alpine Vector. I think the nice neural detailing really adds to the look and in my opinion actually looks better than the standard short PDW barrel, but hey, I do like a nice can. The barrel length is 280 millimeters, which is the exact same barrel that's installed in the Crytac CRB, so a nice versatile barrel length even for longer ranges. I'm glad Crytac ditched the old chunky iron sights in favor of the same flip up defiance iron sights that came on the Alpine Vector. Super notchy and super dependable, but more importantly, in my opinion, fits the look of the PDW just so much better. Moving towards the back of the gun, they gave the stock a nice facelift, which does look quite nice with a bit more detailing and a skeletonized stock, but it brings about an even nicer feature, a quick release. See, on the original PDW stock, because that release button isn't actually connected to the rest of the stock, with your offhand, you gotta kinda do this weird hand pivot thing where you get it started first on the track and then pull it out the rest of the way or you can transition to a two-handed operation. Definitely not the end of the world but on the new PDW stock just simply pull it out and it locks into place. Of course if you want to be a bit more John Wick about it you can depress that lever and let momentum do the rest of the work and of course the stock won't actually fly out unless you depress a second lever. Pretty smart design. There is only one extended stock position though, but it's about equivalent to the third position on a standard AR, so it's a nice medium position. Another very nice improvement is the toolless battery access, no Allen key required. Simply slide down the Crytac logo and you have quick, easy access to your battery storage. And it's a small change on paper, but it's a huge difference in practice. While we're here, notice that the battery connector is a T-style connector, otherwise known as Dean's, although a mini Tamiya adapter is included. Don't forget though, to take full advantage of the better connector, you're gonna wanna swap your actual battery connector to a T connector. And of course, we do sell batteries with that connector pre-installed. As far as battery space, it is perfect for a peck box size battery, but the depth is only about 10 centimeters, so our Valken 11.1 split LiPo will not fit. Although it is possible to run the gun without the battery cover closed, just be careful about your LiPo getting shot. As for a magazine, you get one of Crytac's new 150 round polymer mid caps, although a speed loader is not included. Compared to a trusty blue box mag, it is a little bit larger and a little bit heavier, and I gotta say it feels a little bit nicer. It also locks in a bit better while still dropping free. I really do like the see-through window so you can roughly gauge your ammo even while it's in the gun. The orange directional arrow that doubles as a base plate release is a nice touch. It even makes it easier to find the magazine, let's say if you drop it out in the field. It's little touches like this that I always like to see. I like the crisp trademarks on the forward assist or the nice metal sheathing on those battery cables. Hardly necessary and most people probably won't even notice, but for those who do, it's just gravy on the poutine. If you're looking for your next PDW, or maybe your first one, I don't think you can go wrong with this gun. It is a very well thought out package that is very much worth the price of admission. However, 
if you are on a tighter budget, it is worth looking at the older model PDW as it is a good chunk of change less and as far as internals go, will be more or less identical. Also worth considering is the SPR slash PDW combo that comes with two full upper receivers for just that much more flexibility at not much more cost than this one. Crytac has also stated that the new PDW stock will be available separately, but no word yet on the PDW M-Lock rail. And of course, if you just want that new magazine, they are available separately as well. Once you've decided on your next gun, let's talk about curbside pickup. Here's how it all works. Once your order is ready for pickup, we'll give you a call letting you know it's ready to grab. Our pickup hours are Thursday and Friday from 11.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. What you need to bring is the exact same as the usual in-store pickup. Government issued photo ID with a name and address that matches the billing name and address used to place the order. Sorry, you can't pick up a package for a friend. Call us when you arrive and let us know your name and your order number so we know which order to bring out and the type of vehicle that you're in so we know who to bring it to. While you're waiting, do us a favor and pop open the trunk, but please stay in the car. Once you've shown us your ID through the window, we'll simply drop off your order in your trunk. That's it. No contact, no risk. Don't forget to check your order and make sure everything's there before you drive off. Hopefully our showroom will be open again soon and we can all hang out in person, but until that happens, this is the best option for all of us. As always, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.